Connecting Accelerate to WYSIWYG is a little bit more involved than other visualizers, but we'll walk through it step by step. Here you can see I have one of the demo files included with WYSIWYG open. We're going to start by switching to the CAD view, which is where we add fixtures to the WYSIWYG show, so that we can add a laser. We'll select a laser from the library browser, and in this case, I'll use the generic multi-purpose laser from the built-in library. We'll place that on this downstage truss here, just pointing to the floor for now. Once that's placed, we'll need to configure it so that we can control it. On the fixture tab under laser source, we'll set the protocol to WYSIWYG generic. This is the protocol that Accelerate supports, so you must select a laser from the library that supports this protocol. We'll leave the input at one so that it will receive the first laser feed from Accelerate. Next, we'll switch to the control tab so that we can set up a way to turn the laser visualization on and off within WYSIWYG. This is just an on-off DMX channel received by WYSIWYG and is separate from the DMX data used by Accelerate. You could map this to an existing universe and channel, and uh, in fact you could use the same channel as your master intensity channel for the laser, and that would work pretty well. But since this is only needed by WYSIWYG, I'll set up a dedicated universe here which we'll control separately. Now that the fixture is fully configured, we'll switch back to the live view. We need some way to control the laser on-off universe we just added, so we'll go to the device manager and add a cast mini console. This is a simple software DMX console included with WYSIWYG that runs as a separate application. Once that's added, we'll map it to the laser on off universe, start the mini console application, and then click connect. You'll see that now we have a cone in the wireframe view showing that the laser visualization is active. If I bring the mini console over, you can see that turning this first channel on and off turns that wireframe cone on and off. We can just leave that channel on for now and leave the mini console in the background. The last thing we need to do is enable WYSIWYG output in Accelerate. Under Setup, Network, we'll enable WYSIWYG on the appropriate network adapter. You can see we immediately see the laser now projecting on the floor here, but we can't really see the beams in the air. To fix that, we'll go to View Options, select Simulation, and increase the beam brightness and beam exposure. There, now the beams are much more visible, and while we're here, we'll go ahead and reduce the ambient light. Once that's all done, we can go back to the CAD view and add more lasers, or we can just go back to our console and start programming.